it's uh, breakfast time. Um, time to uh, get some grub out of the garden. Got some, uh, I think this is Comet Sooner. I sowed about a month, not sowed, planted about a month ago. It's taken a bit of a hammering from, um, not hammering, a slight smattering of uh, slug damage. Yeah, use this like spinach. Uh, a couple more days, I think, with these. Uh, yeah, these are snap pea Nairobi, um, sown in early July. Got a, I harvested um, a big um, squash from here, and I've got another one, another one growing. Uh, have some beans, I think. Some African blue basil. Ah, oh, some more, I think. Uh, some uh, flower shoots of um, Chinese chives, garlic chives. Really quite tasty. The best in a sandwich. But I'm going to do a stir fry. There we go, I'm going to do um, a quick stir fry with that. This is the worm bin. I've got, um, let's see what we got underneath. Oh, look, look at that, beautiful. I don't know whether you can see the thousands of little buggers are in there squirming away. So I finally cracked the um, farming worms now. I've got thousands of them, which is a good thing. Right, I'll pop the um, pop the kitchen waste in here. I'm off visiting uh, Jacka's Herb Farm in uh, Gloucestershire. Uh, she has open days sort of five or six times a, times a year. Uh, quite a famous um, herb person. So I shall show you around.
this chai? Is this what's this? Chai. Yeah. Tipping up over one of my manhole covers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't know you were doing that either. <laughs> you alright enjoying it? on ships and where people used to come in take a look at I might have over, uh, overdone it with um, buying stuff from Jekka it's cost me a fortune I'm going to be, have to be uh, repotting all of this it's all um because it needs um it's going to need to uh, survive the winter. This is like a peppery leaf thing. And uh, a nice, uh, I think it's a Cretan um, herb of some sort, or a garden or something. What I really, I really went there to get this, which is um, uh, um, samphire, uh, cliff samphire, or rock samphire. And uh, and instead I got that and everyone all of this. So I went totally mad. But anyway, there you go. I'm uh, uh, potting up some uh, some plants for for uh, keeping uh, overwintered uh, indoors uh, with central heat and all the rest of it. And one of the biggest problems is um, root rot. Uh, so you've got to make your <coughs> your soil in your pots really really um, free draining. So I've put um, half um, grit and half equal equal mass uh, not mass uh, volume of uh, grit and uh, compost. Uh, I'll put a little bit of um, uh, uh, organic fertilizer in as well. Um, uh, give us the maximum chance of um, keeping keeping the plants alive over over the winter. Uh, this is a uh, um, pot round, um, very hard to get out of that pot, so what we're going to do is um, I need a bigger pot, I think I'll use a bigger pot. It's a bit deeper this one. So, uh, loosen a, a few of the, um, the roots.
This is the um, the burn jelly plant. Um, uh, bulb bean fruit tessens. It's um, supposed to be good for burns and stuff. It's not edible. Uh, it's uh, to be applied, uh, uh, you know, externally. Uh, well, I no, don't take my take your own medical advice, <laughs> but uh, this is what uh, I'm told it does. So, um, so yeah, the, uh, the it's it's very very tender. So it's an African um, plant. So it's going to be staying indoors. Uh, but it has a very pretty flower. Um, let's see if we can get a get a shot of that. Well, let's see. Yeah, the <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty in full flower. This is the last remaining uh, couple of. Um, uh, florets off it, so um, but in full flower it's very pretty. But we, we shall um, see it when it see that when it um, it flowers next. Uh, this is the water pepper plant. It's um, it uh, looks a little bit manky now. I'm going to clean it up. But these, if you see, uh, so we're getting new shoots coming out here. So what I shall do is probably cut it back to about there. And let it regrow. I'm being cruel to be kind. Um, it'll grow into a better plant. And, uh, and then repot it. It um, the leaves are eaten, and it's um, yeah, they're quite peppery. Um, it's related to the Vietnamese coriander, the persicaria. I think this is persicaria as well. Different types. Let's have a look. Uh, persicaria hydropiper. Piper is pepper. Farubra, so it's the red version of the water pepper, Persicaria water pepper. So, um, let's, let's get started. Do that one, I think, and that's fine, I think. The uh, nights are closing in again. Uh, I've got used to having um, uh, lots of uh, lots of time in the evenings to get things done, but it's uh, time's racing on again. It should all, you know, that's the uh, much of the reasons why we've got to get things ready for um, indoors and uh, winter, the winter garden. So. Um, so yeah, so I'll finish up now and then uh, uh, do more tomorrow. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm pleased. Um, they're quite or ornamental. Um, the oregano, that one there, the oregano, is uh, quite pretty. I think it's related to a Corsican uh, mint, Corsican, uh, Corsican oregano or something like that. We've got a, 
a caper bush over there which I want to grow big nice. so that's why it's in a bit, bit of a bigger pot yeah, that African um, jelly, burn jelly yeah. I'm really growing for the flowers, let's face it but, uh, and this one's this, this is a persicaria because, because the other persicaria I've got, the, the Vietnamese coriander is uh, so good and I've tried a few leaves of this, I haven't tried cooking yet but, um, but yeah, so I've got high hopes for that I tend to eat the Vietnamese coriander you know, two or three times a week so, um, so hopefully it's a good addition it's a perennial so uh, uh, I'm going to try and keep it alive uh, take cuttings, that sort of thing so, um, so it should be good value